Hello my classy, classy people. How y'all doing? Happy Oaks Day. That's right. They're in the middle of the card right now and out of Churchill. The ground is dry. It's not sloppy. That's awesome. I think they're up to like the fifth race. And of course, as always, please turn your closed captured on. If by chance you want tomorrow's Derby tip sheet from us, we're cutting the price in half because it's only one card. For $10, we do the top three picks in all of the races. Email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Thanks for everybody for supporting us with the tip sheets. It makes a big difference for us here in the studio. Well, we wanted to take a look at the undercard or some of the races in the undercard for the uh, Derby on Saturday. And it's some great races. And none no, uh, more fun than the Pat Day Mile. Every year... I think everybody look forward to the Pat Day Mile. It's just always one of the key races on Derby Weekend. And last year, everybody know that Jackie Warriors won the race. We made a lot of money in that race that day. And it was a beatdown. And it looks like it's going to be another beatdown this year. You know, So we're going to analyze it. We're going to make the video really short. This won't take long. The Pat Day Mile, of course, is... Uh, the seventh race on the card, it is only a grade two. It should be a grade one, and it's for 500000 for three-year-olds. And it's a full field of 10, or actually a full field of 12, going one flat mile, the Pat Day Mile. And, of course, we're not going to go through each and every one of the horses. We just want to make the videos to get our picks and contenders out there just so we can have something to give out to the public, of course. And this is one of the races that I think is a lopsided race. We'll start with who I thought was the best three-year-old in the country outside of Messier. And that is Jack Christopher. Jack Christopher is back on the scene. Wow, we've been looking for you, Mr. Christopher, since for a long, long time. This is a talented, talented horse. And I said four or five months ago, hoping this horse made the Derby Trail, that I thought the top two horses, three-year-olds in the country, uh, including Epic Center, you know, was Messier and Jack Christopher, right? And uh, you know how much I love Epic Center, but I didn't think Epic Center was, at the time, uh, equally to either one of these horses. And the headliner for tomorrow in the Pat Day Mall at 2 to 1, if you get 2 to 1 on Jack Christopher, just push all the shackles in on Jack Christopher, right? And of course, you know what? And then parlay it all on Jackie Warrior, right? The two Pat Day winners, uh, mile winners. And the number five, Jack Christopher, has two starts and three wins for 300000 They paid 135000 for this Munnings uh, Colt uh, by Chad Brown. The horse had a problem. I think it was a hoof problem. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But has been away for 217 days and is back on the scene and I'm sure Jack got his wrecking machine with him. Workout tab is beautiful. I don't not that I don't care about the time, but of course they're in order. And I don't think we need to look at it because the horse is trained by Chad Brown. He only brings them back when they're ready to run. That's the one thing you can count on from the classy, classy Chad Brown. And Jack Christopher, the number five horse, uh, won the champagne. Everybody knows that. Uh, beaten command performance and wit, okay? That was that talented two-year-old at the time. Making his three-year-old debut in the Pat Day Mile, uh, um, you know, off of the 200-day layoff. And I expect the horse to just beat these horses down. To me, the fair value and win probability on this horse, uh, when I ran it through our database, was 46% chance to win this race. He's 2-1 to one on the morning line, and I thought if you got even money, which we call fair value on our sheet, would be proper. This horse should be even money, 4-5, to five, okay? May have been in the wrong race. Probably should be in the derby, but of course they weren't going to do that because the horse hasn't run. But Jack Christopher should smack these horses around, 46%. Uh, win probability, one of the two best bets on the card for us, of course, uh, Jack Christopher in the seventh race, and of course, Jackie Warrior in the tenth race. So again, we think Jackie, uh, Jack's, uh, Jack Christopher should beat these up in a good order. 
The other horse that I thought should, could run underneath, everybody knows the number 10 horse, Doppelganger. Doppelganger really has never done nothing wrong either, just hasn't won in a bunch, but only has run four times. One win, one second, and one third. Obviously, previously trained by Bob Baffert, now is in the Tim Yachting's barn. And uh, Tim had him once, ran him April 2nd in the Arkansas Derby and ran fourth by eight. Was forwardly placed, went a little wide, and the horse got shuffled pretty badly in that race. Getting a little class release because this isn't a uh, big field with a lot of top, top horses in it other than Jack Christopher. So we used to think that the number 10 doppelganger is our second pick and could run underneath Jack Christopher. Our third pick in here, well, the bottom horse always had a weakness for this talented, talented horse. The number 11, my prankster, three wins from six starts. That's what I said. It's 50% on my prankster. And the horses buy into mischief. They pay $600,000 for the prankster. And this three-year-old colt has some future ahead of him. I love the fact that the grandsire is Flower Alley which tells me a whole bunch about that mare's uh, line there on her side and into mischief, who the horse is sired by need no introduction. Trained by the classy, classy man Todd Pletcher and Louis Saez is in the yard. So again, our third pick here is the number 11, my prankster in this race. So again, I don't think... Uh, there's only one other horse that I think deserves any kind of mentioning in here, and that would be the number three horse, Papa Cap. We all love Papa Cap, and at some point, one day he's going to pop in and win a race. Papa Cap hasn't won a race since, who oh God, well, Hector was a pup back in 2021, I believe. That's right. Back in 2021, won the best pal stakes over at Del Mar, six furlong race back in August. But Papa Cap does show up each and every time. He runs hard, has won two of, two of eight trained by Mark, uh, Mark Cassie, and of course is by Gunrunner, and Flavian Pratt is in the arms. So again, um, that's the only other horse in here that I think deserves any mentioning, is Papa Cap. So, in the uh, Pat Day Mile, we think it's a walkover. The best bet of the day outside of Jackie's Warrior is the number five, Jack Christopher. I think this is a very, very talented three-year-old, just like the rest of you do. And we think it should be gate to wire, game, set, and match. Our second pick is the number 10, uh, Doppelganger. We think the horse was a little... Uh, got the business a little bit, a pretty bad trip, and should be second or our second pick here. And our third pick in this race will be the number 11, my prankster, who has never done anything wrong other than win three of the only six starts with a big future ahead of her, having paid 600000 So for us, it's Jack all the time, the number five, then the number 10, and the number 11. We're going to play that exact or straight, just like that, 5 over 10, 11, and then play a 5 with 10, 11, all. Maybe we'll play a 5 with 3, 10, 11, pop a cap with all. And if we can get 2 to 1, which is saying more than line, we'll bet everything we got on Jack Christopher. So there it is in the Pat Day Mile. Let me know what you think. It is our second best bet or our first best bet of the day on Saturday. And our second uh, best bet is, of course, in the... Um, 10th race, Jackie's Warrior in the Churchill Downs Mile, a Churchill Downs stake race. So, as always, stay classy. Let me know what you guys think and gals think. Have some fun. Make a few shackles, as always. Stay classy, y'all.